Hello there, Audrey Ann here from Live Snap Love, where I teach you how to master your camera and editing so you can beautifully capture your children, your family, and the world around you. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add images to a Photoshop collage template. Now, I'm using one that I've created, but this will work the same regardless of whether you've purchased one or you got one free for the web. This all works in the same way. So it'll look like a different collage from mine probably, but that's absolutely fine. It all works in the same way. Now, before we dive in, I do just want to let you know about a free starter kit that we have for you. So if you're new to Photoshop, you don't know how layers work, you want to do some editing steps, you want to make sure that you save your files correctly, you can download that. You'll find a link to it underneath this video. So for now, let's get started with how to insert your images. So you you'll see that in your collage, you'll have a number of blank squares or openings. This is where your images are going to be. And you'll see that you can see them here on the main area. And then if you go over here to your layers panel on the right hand side, you'll see that each one has its own layer. If you're never sure which one it is, you can actually just click this eye on and off and you can see exactly where each one is. So. If you're ever confused, uh, you can do that and that will help you easily see which of these openings or apertures that you're working on. So what we want to do here is just select the layer where you want the image to go into. So for this one, this is this first one here. Remember, I can turn that eye on and off and I want to select that because that's where I want my first image to go. So to insert your image, make sure you have this correct layer uh, selected first of all, then go up to the top toolbar, click on file, and then go down to where it says place embedded and click on that. Now this is where you are going to navigate to where your photos are stored on your computer hard drive. Now I've just popped these next to the collage templates uh, just for easy access, but you're just going to navigate to wherever you have saved your pictures. So I'm just going to click on the one that I want to insert. Make sure that that's selected and then click on place down here at the bottom right. And Photoshop is going to get to work adding this image into my collage template. But as you can see, it's not the right size and it's not inside that box or that aperture, which is what we want to change now. So let's start by changing the side. As you can see, you have these little uh, sort of navigator, little boxes at the side and as you move, your mouse to the corner, it will change, allowing you to pull that in. And you can use any of these. If you need to move it, just move your mouse to the middle here and it'll change to a pointer and you can move that where you wish. So just get that to a roughly the right size for your uh, box that you want to add that to. And then up here on the top toolbar, just click on that plus icon. And you'll see that that's just inserted the image here into the collage template and it's changed the size. But as you can see, it hasn't actually gone inside our box. So that's what we want to do now. Make sure that that layer is still selected, then go up to the top toolbar, click on layer, and then go all the way down to see create clipping mask and select that. And you'll see that it's now moved itself inside that box. So we can actually move this around in the same way so get that centered. We can still move our mouse over these corner uh, elements and just pull that in. So we can still continue to shape and resize that, but it's now fitted inside this box. Again, just click on that plus icon to complete that. So I'm just going to show you again. So now that we want to add an image now to the second one, we're just going to move up to that second layer. We're going to go to file, we're going to go to place embedded, navigate to where the photo is saved, select it, press place. And then we can just move that around, get that into a rough kind of position. First of all, click on that plus icon, uh, sorry, that tick icon, I should say, go to layer, then create clipping mask. And that is going to move that into that box or that aperture. And then you would just repeat that for all of the boxes in your chosen collage. So as you can see, it's really simple to add images to your Photoshop collage template. Now, as I said, we do have that free Photoshop starter kit. And in that, you're gonna get a guide to layers, you're going to get a guide to adding more oomph to your images and to make sure that you save 
the files in the correct file type. So you want that to be saved as a PSD file here so you can go back in and change these layers at any time. So you'll find a link to that underneath this video. So that's it for me today. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you again in the next video. Bye for now.